January 29th and I am waking up losing weight. I am 103 pounds. Um, a few weeks ago I was 108. So um, they say I'm supposed to gain about 2 to 4 pounds in the first trimester. So I think I'm doing an okay job because usually I'm around 98-ish to 102. So 103-ish is okay. At night I'll be 105-ish. So um, yeah, hopefully um, I get the right nutrients in. Starting off with my um, prenatal care and my calcium because somebody said the baby will take your um, nutrients and your teeth will fall out when uh, you don't get enough calcium. And my mom, she's gotten like, I don't know, most of her teeth, like it's gone because she gave birth to like seven kids. Um, my older brother passed on, but um, she had seven kids and a couple miscarriages and uh, she doesn't have any teeth. So that explains um, her calcium intake. So let's do this. Okay, this is fat-free milk and this stuff lasts forever. I thought that it would like last about a week and a half, like whole milk, but this fat-free, it's like, I don't know, two months, which is amazing. I love it. Cheers. Mm. And it doesn't taste as bad as um, I thought it would. So as a child, I hated milk. So this is, this is okay. Unless I've grown up into an adult and I'm boring now. <laughs> anyway, um, so today, super exciting. I'm going to um, head down to Orange County and pick up some bantex and banjungs because the new year, Chinese Vietnamese new year is right around the corner and so I wanna get some of that stuff in, get in the holiday spirit and just enjoy the moment, embrace the holiday. Because these past couple of uh, years, I've just kind of been like not celebrating much every single year so it just becomes dead and my spirit starts to like get, oh. So I wanna keep it going and then um, make sure I'm involved in my uh, culture. All right, so let's do this. We are on a mission to get some Bantex in Orange County because that's all I know where it's at here in LA. I don't even know if they have any, but um, yeah. And lovely, lovely traffic, of course. What is LA without traffic? Okay, okay first location is for Duncan. Oh, yeah. So I got this recommendation from Don Ho. He said that it's the best place for him. So we'll find out. There. Or is it? It's so cute. Got a small one because I don't think I could eat that much. So it'll be just fine. Besides, we're getting a bunch more, so we want to compare. Second stop is Min Phuong. Lò Bánh Hỏi. So over there you can see they have Bánh Tech and Bánh Chừng. So let's check it out. It's just like four parking spots. <laughs> yes. This is what I read on Yelp that was the best according to the reviewers. So let's check it out. Hello. Hello. 
So this one runs $29. People say it's expensive, but I'm gonna go in a mud. Happy New Year. But worth it, that's what they say. So. It's also bigger. Well, the other place has the same size, but it was $22. Mm. I kind of expected it to be expensive because um, the reviews say that uh, it was really expensive, about $27. They upped the price this year, $29, but um, it's worth the price, so we will see. Last stop is my friend's place. My um, comedian friend, he's with them. Gwen Hoon, let's go check it out. So most Vietnamese restaurants, they don't eat go through this door because of feng shui or something. Luck to go through the side door. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that why he did it? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Okay. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Happy New Year. Hi. Hey. What's that? We're gonna on the TV? <laughs> my vlog, I just filmed my vlog on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, but I think you have a, your, your channel is pretty good. Yeah. Finally getting some food. This is our first meal of the day for 79. Mr. Q was picked because it's his favorite place here. Healthy enough, right? Except for the carbs. <laughs> Care foods here. Yay. Here's my pho Thai Bavian, some oxtail, veggies, and nikyo. Mr. Q got some sides, got the egg, not for me, and then the um, vinegar onions with pepper. Quick stop by Brodard, pick up some string rolls before we head home. Here it is! Wow, look at that, they upped their um, packaging game. It looks much nicer. That's a simple package though. I know, but it used to be like um, wrapped in saran wrap, remember? Like what does it say here? It says, uh, the bottle box. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they update, but it's not custom package. I know it's not custom, but it's much better than the Saran, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you have it. One. <laughs> Bye, yeah. Back home, here's the damage. Four different types of, um, bentek bentung. Actually, five, because I bought two from one place. But they're made by two different people. So, I'm going to do a test on these, like a taste test, and see which one is the best. In the meantime, I'm gonna be working on my music video here. So I finished my music video, Stay With Me Tonight. That's being um, colored, and now I'm moving on to my next music video, for Play. So this is in preparation for the year, the coming year, just so I have something out every single couple months. I'm not sure when I'll release for Play, maybe sometime in the summer, etc., but I still have to plan out where and when is a good time. You know, so stay tuned for that. For um, stay with me tonight is going to be um, Valentine's Day, February fourteenth. I swear. <laughs> anyway, um, Mr. Q was at uh, a meeting today. He went to go um, do some business events, etc. So I'm here by myself, and um, I'm gonna be doing my music videos. And in between, I'm going to clean up this place. It's starting to look really, really um, cluttered, and it's just driving me crazy. The new year is around the corner, so we want a nice, clean place, fresh new start, etc., etc. Also, I want to let you guys know that, um, I know some people are asking, but my Facebook page, I started clearing out, um, a lot of the people because there's a lot of news feeds and I don't know a lot of these people and it's like, sometimes they're like advertising on my page and then they, um, they spam it or it's just like random people. Originally, I meant for my Facebook page to be a personal page where I can connect with my um, close friends and my family. So, I mean, you can always follow that page, but um, when you add, it's kind of like you add and then I see everyone's news feeds and then, you know, I'm just like overwhelmed and I don't know what to do with it. And so it's kind of like I can't see any of my friends or my... Um, family's news feed so it's very flooded with a bunch of things that um I don't even know what to do with so I just end up not using Facebook as much anymore so I'm trying to clear out that area I mean you're welcome to follow my personal page but if I don't confirm then you know just please understand that you know this page was meant for like my personal and my family and my friends so that's that and for my other page 
it's my fan page so everything about my music and um, updates etc is going to be on there as well as this page so it's going to be the same exact thing you can use both page just don't get crazy or like you know butthurt if i don't confirm because like i said earlier sometimes people use my page to advertise stuff and then they they tag and then they just all sorts of things on there and um a lot of the news feeds i just like i don't know what to do with it you know what do you know what i mean like when you confirm somebody and you see their news feeds and it's like thousands and thousands of news feeds and it's like Sometimes it's in Vietnamese and just random person from like um, Turkey and there's another person from like uh, India and like, you know, Indonesia just You know, I don't know what to do with that information and there's a, so it's so overwhelming. So I end up using Instagram. So Hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I respond to everyone as much as I can on both pages. So um, it's just the whole confirm thing. It doesn't make sense for me to like add somebody when I don't really find myself understanding what their news feed is about and I don't really connect on that level because I don't know. And there's a lot of like crazy information out there that's on my feeds every single day. So I clear that out and um, hopefully it's like, it's like fresh new start okay so now i can catch up on my friends my close friends my co-workers my um family and really get to see what they're about because i always miss out and people are always asking me how come you don't you know like or respond and it's because i really don't see my friends and my families so um yeah i hope you guys understand with that being said let's move on to um getting some food to eat i got myself some rodard food spring rolls um, I'm gonna dig into it right now. So, yay! Uh. Right here it is, their famous um, sauce. Um, in Vietnam, I think Da Lat is kind of known for their Nam Nung ish Da Lat, and maybe somewhere in like Phu Quoc. I'm not sure, but this is the best we have in uh, America, okay? <laughs> this is. Um, Quite healthy, I suppose you have a little bit of uh, the meat, the veggies, no carbs except for the wrapping, and uh, I'm okay with that. So, I'm gonna have two, and then Mr. Q will have the other two. We'll share because I can't finish it at all. Mmm. Okay, so it's not as good as when it's first made, but it's okay. It's to go. I mean, that's what you get for like eating hours later, and. It's not as hot, but I'm so happy. Speaking of food, people keep asking me where to eat in Orange County. Brodard is good. Pho 79 is good. I like Tung Kang for dim sum. You can go upstairs at Seafood Cove. For Bung Mo Hui, I go to Pho Gong Li. For Jia, Duk Hung. That's the best. Like, don't go to the supermarket. Go to Duk Hung. It's right next to Boiling Point. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Choked on myself. Anyways. Right next to Boiling Point and like um, near uh, <coughs> Boiling Crab. So those two are also very good and very popular and very packed. So be prepared for a line. Um, Sinchin Gumi, you know, in Orange County, but... <coughs> <coughs> Damn. Okay, but if you're in Orange County, then um, it's better to eat Vietnamese food, you know what I mean? There's this place is um, known for... They're big ass bun sale. I've never seen anywhere but this place. <clears throat> and in Vietnam, it's like really huge and super flat. The only place that does that in America is um, Tan Ha, the restaurant Tan Ha. It's not the singer Tan Ha, but it's um, it's called Tan Ha. Okay. And then for um, like small snacks and stuff, like bun bao, either quan hi or quan hup. I think it's good. Very like standard. Not too crazy. Kum tam thun keo, if you like kum tam. Seven leaves, everyone has to try seven leaves. They have um, the best sea salt milk tea. It's not as sweet. And they also have a secret menu. And I always get the love cream. For um, like Hue style food, I would suggest going to um, Hung Yang. Like you can order a bunch of to go. Like um, ban it jung and all that stuff like that for ban mi. I don't know. It's just so many options out there. But I like this place called um, Mary's 
little Mary shop, whatever. Mary's little shop and her bunny knees are like really thick and is packed with a lot of food. A lot of meat, I meant. A lot of food. <laughs> if you like like the moon cakes but don't want to eat like the huge ones, there's a place where you can get like the tiny ones. I, fig I forget what it's called. Let me look at my phone. <clears throat> Let's see. Me Hip Bakery, okay? So they're known for their like small um, taro cakes and everyone loves that. If you like Nam Chua, that's wrapped in um, like banana leaf. My friends always ask whenever I travel, go to the Kung, they have the Nam Chua and you ask for the La one, it's really good. But be sure to like take good care of it, don't leave it out because it might stink and go bad because Nam Chua is kind of raw. Um, oh, and pate. This place, oh my god, so delicious. The best pate ever, no joke. Like you just spread it on the baguette and have a little bit of mayonnaise, the one that they provide, and it is just so delicious. It's called Bulangari Pierre and at the city. So this place, bomb. Like you have to eat their pates. Like it is just to die for. Oh my God. But yeah, um, that's what uh, I usually go to for uh, Orange County food. If you want other types of food out of Orange County, then that's a different story than um, probably another time I'll let you guys know, like in Irvine or LA, but um, somebody asked me today, so I thought I'd mention it into uh, this vlog. Let's see. <laughs> so all my friends and my coworkers are like texting me and like, this uh, pregnancy is spreading faster than, um, you know? Cause I don't tell any of my friends or my family. And I know my coworkers don't watch my vlogs because they're so um, busy with their own life. So it's kind of like, okay, <laughs> very interesting for them to just like hit me up and like in shock. In the industry, we're kind of on the same page about having kids. Cause we're all focused on our own um, careers and also majority of us not all, but majority of us do take care of our families. Um, some singers, they're lucky enough to start families because they have assistance from their family and their family buys them houses and stuff. But, you know, some of us, we got to buy our parents' houses. You know what I mean? So it's like one of those things that we just got to really manage and not really, really ready for the responsibility. So <sighs> I'm getting all these texts from people and like total shocker because I would be the last person in the industry to have kids, but it happened. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and everyone just keeps laughing about the story because it was one of those things where it wasn't meant to be in my head, but then it is what it is because of the whole, you know, you know what it is. I don't want to talk about it. Get me all riled up. <laughs> like I said, this pregnancy is tough on me because it's more emotional. And I'm trying to balance my emotion and let everything marinate in. It's not so much of sickness or like, um, you know, food and etc. But it's more so of my emotional feelings and how I feel about being pregnant. But I'm slowly taking it in day by day and uh, we will be okay. <laughs> Brian will take care of the baby. <laughs> All right, so let's finish up my food. Cheers. Also, I forgot to mention, um, if you're into like food, like beer food, like Guangyao food, then um, all my friends love artists or Ao Pen Lao. It's kind of like a beer food, but it's more like chill, chill, snacky kind of food. Okay, so that's all I can think of right now. How about classy people? Classy people? What do you mean by classy people? Mr. Kiwa just came home. And um, I actually ate his uh, spring roll. I ate three because about, uh, I was Japanese hungry. Barbecue? <laughs> oh, what? Japanese barbecue. Um, I was speaking more of like Vietnamese food, but if you want to go outside of Vietnamese food, then oh my God, you have to try Manpuku. Mm. And you have to try that place. What's the other place I, I love? Mm, their competitor? Yeah, their competitor. Uh, Maipuku? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> really? Let me put this on a stand. My arm is even tired. My poo poo, really? There's man poo poo and there's. The other one, Shirohashi. Shirohashi yeah. Oh my god, so man poo poo has more variety in terms of like, um, like salads and like um, noodles and just side foods, but 
the quality of shirahashi, if you're just into meats, then you go to shirahashi. Like, it's just good. But right. manpuku's meat me is good too. It's just they have better sides. They have more variety. They're both pretty good. Yeah. They're um, not cheap, cheap, but... Mm -hmm. If you want garlic noodles, you go to Ankyu. That's in Costa Mesa. Shabu Shabu is, um... California Shabu Shabu. Eh, I think it's okay. My friend Dan, the singer, he loves that place. He introduced that to me. And I thought... It's gotten worse, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because they changed um, owners? I'm not sure, yeah, but, did, but their yeah. spicy drops are no longer good anymore. And, um... Yeah, we don't go there anymore for Shabu. Um, go to LA for But sure. some people still love it. So I could be like, you know... I'm sure. Our taste buds change. Who knows? But um, do you have any other suggestions? What do you like? Because um, I'm like more um, like Vietnamese food. I, I know it more. But what do you like that you've been to Orange okay. County? Notable stuff like Pho 79. Oh, you like said that? Mm -hmm. um, I like... Uh, uh, Bear flag. Bear flag's good. Is bear flag really in Orange County? That's Orange County. That's like Huntington Beach. Okay, maybe because I'm Beach. thinking... Um, We're not talking about Bolsa. I'm, I was okay. thinking Bolsa because... I'm talking about all of OC. Okay. So, bear flag is good for the poke. Take, and also they have a nice place, right? You could walk on the beach. Uh-huh. Like their poke and their fish tacos are pretty bomb. Their tuna's not too great. Their salmon poke, yeah. Um, let's see, for sushi... Mm. Nothing really there. All the there. singers love to go to Hashigo Sushi in Huntington Beach. I think it's okay because you know I'm I'm such a I'm such a sugar fish snob. So Hashigo is like you know, but singers love it. That's their go-to place in Orange County. Um, what else is there? Oh, I love Milakai. I don't know if you guys know that place, but it's like that egg noodle. Yeah. I love good. that place. <laughs> Their sure noodles are so good. How about for sandwiches? I said Mary's Little Shop. Oh yeah, that's even that's further off. That's like Long Beach almost. Yeah. But yeah. like for if it's Orange County, what would you say sandwich is good? Drive down there. Drive down to no, <laughs> Mary's. Uh, even Lee's is standard, but it's, it's good. How about late night? Late night for Like, let's say someone visited, right? Where do we take them? Like, Bear Flag, because it's nice. Yeah, I just mentioned all those Plus places. 79. Yeah. Take them to Mastro's. Mastro's kind of standard good. Yeah. Um, it's not great, great, but it's, it's okay good for Steakhouse. There's Water Grill. There's Din Tai Poon. Um, Water Grill there is pretty good. So we'd take them to Water Grill. Mm -hmm. But see, that's kind of like very American yeah. and, and pricey. It's not very unique. So it's just it's not best value stuff. Yeah. So good value. Uh yeah. For seventy nine for that much money mm -hmm. they give you so much meat. We have leftover meat in the fridge right now. <laughs> Mr. Q loves Fa seventy nine because it's the first pho place that he's never complained about not enough meat. Like he has plentiful amount of meat and he's just happy that they give you that much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so there you have it. That's what we can think of right now. If I ever like have anything else, I will let you guys know. Um, also, we are going to do the ban tek and ban jeng kind of like taste test. So I will do that in another video because we just ate and I'm super full and there's no way I can stuff five types of ban tek and ban jeng in my um, mouth right now. So we're going to do that in another video and I'll link it above. For you guys, so you guys can uh, get an idea, and if you guys um, want to buy, then you can check out those places as well. Um, we're gonna work on our computers all night, so uh, it's gonna be uh, pretty boring. So no need to vlog that stuff unless you want to watch us stare at the screen forever. <laughs> some people do. What do you mean some people do? I'm sure they want to. They want to watch you stare at the computer screen all day. Yes. That's rude. Anyway, all right. Toodles. Good night, guys. Um, I will catch you guys tomorrow. And I'm excited because I got some makeup stuff. So I will be back on my makeup tutorials, etc. soon. So, all right. Toodles.